Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In this lesson, we will be learning how we can handle missing data into a MATLAB. Working with missing data is a common task in a data processing, although sometimes missing values signify a meaningful event in the data. They often represent unreliable or unusable data points. In fact, in either case, MATLAB has many options for handling missing data. So before we handle a missing data, let's create a data which will have at least one missing data. So for that, we can create an array or you can say a vector or you can say a matrix with only single row and then type here n a n that is not a number and then 1, 2, 3 and 4. So NAN represents that it's a missing data. It's not a number. That means a missing value. You can also use a missing to represent a missing data. So let's uh, create that variable also x double is equal to missing 1 space 2 space 3 space 4. So it represents that this is also missing. We can also create a, a date native type. So let's create that x date time is equal to missing and then date time 2018 1 column 4 and then 1. So if you print it it says that there is one cross five day time array. It has N80 that is the not time and then it has 1st January, 1st February, 1st March and 1st April and the 00 time. So this is taking a first date of each month. In a similar way, we can create a missing data with a string also. So a string is equal to missing a of course we don't need to give comma there b c d so it says that missing conversion is not possible to character. So what we can do, we have to make it as a string. So let's make it a string. Then this one. Now you see here. So the first string is missing and other, and other strings are being printed there. So overall, I would like to make a point here that a data set might contain values that you want to treat as a missing data, but are not a standard MATLAB missing value. So you can use these standard missing function. You can use these standardized missing function to convert those values to a standard missing value for that data type. That means what you can do, you can make a variable x standard which will tell you a missing value, okay? So standardized it, standardize missing and the next double Four space n a n. So now you see here the first number was already n a n. If you print here x double, you will notice here. But here it has replaced this fourth number with the missing data. 
सो दैट इज ये नहीं है ओके नाउ लेट्स वर्क मोर अबाउट द फाइंड रिप्लेस एंड द इग्नोर ऑफ मिसिंग डेटा फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू अनोनली प्लॉट अ वेक्टर कंटेनिंग एन एन वैल्यू द एन एन डज नॉट अपीयर बिकॉज ऑफ द प्लॉट फंक्शन इग्नोर सीट and plot the remaining points normally that means suppose that if you want to plot this x double let's see what will happen you will see here it has plotted 1 2 3 up to the 4 and in the same time suppose that if you want if you plot x standard then you will see here it has plotted only up to 3 that's mean when you plot a variable matlab do not plot any missing data or missing values okay so in meantime suppose that if you create a function of a, a variable a and it has 1 2 and then n n and then 3 and then 4 Let's make it uh, four and make it five. Then let's see what will happen. And this plot here, type here S H G. It will bring that plot here. As you can notice here, this has plotted one to two, and then two to four data is missing here, and then once again it is plotting. Four to five data. Great. Now suppose that, for example, if you unknowingly plot a vector which contains an n value, then of course it does not appear because plot function does ignore it. So let's define a variable n n data is equal to one colon nine. And then n n. That means it will have a ten values here. Okay, so the last value will be n n, and one to nine value will be a number. So let's plot it with the variable with the with the x value. So one to ten n n data. Once again, now you can see it. Great. However, if you compute the average of the data, the result will be an n. That means, if you type here mean, mean of a, then the result will be an n. That's when the not a number. Since this not a number could be anything, that's why any statistical. Uh, Results will be an n. Suppose that if you print here max max of a, it says that the five. That means only for the mean it will print here an n. And suppose that if you plot here variance, so variance will be also an n. Since variance can be, you know, uh, can deviate from this uh, because of this an n. so there are uh, there are many ways to find if some data is uh, containing an n uh, value so what you can do you can type here is an n and then give a pass a variable in parenthesis it will print that which value is actually an n so it printed that the third value is an n and if you print this a a variable you will see here the third value is actually n n so similarly the missing function returns location of missing value in the data for multiple data types so in that way you can type here is missing and then pass a it will tell you the exactly the same result as is n n now suppose that if this type of problems are creating if this type of missing data are creating a problem then you can replace this missing values 
and these missing values can be replaced with the fill missing. So let's uh, create a variable a fill is equal to fill missing and then a and then we want to fill with the constant value of 0 right and if you print this a fill you will notice that that union has been replaced with the 0 in a similar way if you can print here if you replace it with the 10 you can see here it has been replaced with the 10 now you can find a mean of that union replaced value there is another way if you do not want to replace this union then there is another way in which you can get rid of that yana. So simply you can remove that yana. So let's type here x remove is equal to rm missing a. So what it will do? It will remove that yana simply. So this is all about uh, missing data handling into a MATLAB. And one more thing I would like to tell you before uh, I stop this video tutorial. So there are many MATLAB functions which enable you to ignore missing values without having to explicitly locate, fill or remove them first. For example, if you compute the sum of the vector containing an AN value, the result is an AN. However, you can directly ignore an AN in the sum by using omit an AN. That means, suppose that if you type here sum a, it says that the n a n. Now you are having either two options, or you can remove that n a n, or you can replace that n a n. But there is another way to do that operation. You can simply omit that n a n. So you can add second variable, second parameters, and you can type there omit n a n. So what it will do? It will simply it will simply omit this n a n while calculating the sum and now you can find 1 plus 2 is 3, 4 and 3 plus 7, 7 and plus 5 is 12. So this is all about handling missing data type into a MATLAB. Thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Have a nice day. Bye bye.